Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Come like a cherry pony. Come like a cherry pony. Your boy done switched up on you. Come like a cherry pony. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys, look, if this is your very first time to this channel, run over there and subscribe for me. And after you subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell. It's right there beside the word subscribe so that you will be notified each and every time that we upload a video. And then welcome to this great, 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 great family. Now that you're part of it, there's some things that we do. And we do them every single day because they help us grow. We'd love for you to join us and we need it. Those things are comment, comment, Comment like a share and go for the team. Comment like a share and go for the team. Comment like a share and don't forget to comment like a share. Comment like a share. Comment like a share. Don't forget to comment like a share. Comment like a share. Comment like a share. Don't forget to don't get to comment like a share. Okay, you got chicks out. We're gonna pray. We're gonna get into the goodness. Here we go. Hey man, how y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? Over here to the side. Big Ben is in the building, baby. Big Ben is here. Big Ben is here to help us out. So let's see if he's actually refreshing. He is. You guys, also, if you like it, I got my lips on the top. If you like your bottle, make sure you look way up in the top of the description box in blue. Hit that link and right there and get your lip ties off. And you this merch. Okay, you guys, today. Follow up y'all. Yesterday. Upon yesterday. Uh huh. Uh, B Love had the rice, uh, sausage, and cucumber thing, and everything, and everything, and everything. And y'all know I've never been just a super fan of it, but I found a way that I uh, do like it. So it was looking good to me with B Love eating. So I decided I will have me some today. So we have got the rice, the cucumbers, and the sausage, but we got us some eggs and we got us some shrimp with ours. So what we got? We got a seafood sauce over here, honey. And I done mixed up, dipped up, and all that kind of stuff and everything and everything and everything. So that's what we're going to be eating today. And we also got our Buffalo Wild Wings, salt and vinegar, salt and vinegar. So we got our Bacupa Cucumbers and everything and everything. And let's get it in. Y'all remember when this hip first came out? I never could find a way for me to just really like it. So we got a salt and vinegar cucumber for a bite. Um. Mmm. Mm-hmm. I kept trying it. Y'all kept telling me different ways of doing it, how I'm supposed to do it, and how I'm supposed to make it good and everything. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Never did get it. So where it was just, you know, one of my favorite things to eat at a name. But mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Get you about it. We got seafood sauce on there and everything. Ooh. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And it was just like this. For me, you really have to have, you know, like a, a seafood sauce that you really like, you know? Mm-hmm. You really have to have a seafood sauce that you really like. To make it do what it do. Hmm. Get you a bite of that. Get your bite. Mmm. 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 -hmm. And then, when you get that right combination, mmm. -hmm. It is good. When this here first came out, it was a content creator. I think her name was Eva Kim. I think so. Mm -hmm, who came out on the, with this? And mm -hmm, it was everywhere for a minute. Mm -hmm. People still eat this. You know, it's good. Mm -hmm. Once they eat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just need a little something, some extra to go with mine so that I get full, honey. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
Mmm. 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 You like some shrimp? Yep. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all, today, we are. Well, first of all, uh, y'all, the weather, at least here anyway, um, mm, has broken. Mm hmm. Pretty good. You know, it's still cool at night and everything, but for the most part, the weather here in the daytime, especially, mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You know, by midday. It's in the mid to upper 60s. Well, yesterday, it got up to 71. Mm-hmm. 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 I have been checking on um, mm, the funny Willis, the DA in Fulton County. Because I gave y'all a little bit of misinformation last time. Because I thought the judge, well, I had read mm, somewhere mm, 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 that the judge mm -hmm, had already decided what he was going to do. But that wasn't true. But before we get into that, how y'all doing today? Mm hmm. How y'all doing? And Little Bean has the the blue Hawaiian punch uh, sugar-free mixer that you mix with the bottle water in him today. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cause somebody gonna ask that too. I know I know I'm just here, y'all. So but oh anyway, so the um, funny with his trial are you still on the way. And everything. And it looked like Y'all, they didn't got even deeper down in it now, y'all. The man, Wade, got up there on the stand, y'all, and changed his story and everything. So, now, they digging way up into it, and they got like, I think they said, 2,000 calls, 12,000 text messages between the two of them that they are trying to see if they're going to be admissible or if they're going to be brought into the trial to see, you know, and all that. And they said that they may be uh, facing to, they could face a perjury charge. Y'all want another bite? Mm -hmm. Glory! I cannot be losing my food, uh. Y'all know how we be talking about how high uh, groceries is, honey. I can't even uh, get one of my sausage yet. Let me get my stuff up. Uh. Ah, uh, and everything and everything. Mm hmm. No, we don't talk about how high gross is there. Mm hmm. Mm. So, mm. They ain't looking too good right now. In the funny with the situation. Um. It looks like they could be facing a perjury charges, y'all. Mm-hmm. So it's getting kind of serious out there in the paint. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I saw on social media that well, supposedly Donald Trump when he did <coughs> wait a minute. <coughs> uh, like they got choked out. When he did show up to Georgia to the trial. They say this this idiot come up here y'all with some uh sneakers on. Hmm. Y'all want shrimp? Y'all want shrimp? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So he come with some sneakers on, honey. Doing too much. <laughs> that man <laughs> that man that <laughs> done Trump is something else, honey. Four five as I call him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Excuse me, y'all. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Four five showed up to the courthouse, honey. In sneakers, y'all. That man, that man. Mm-hmm. Now, that just come across my mind there, y'all. Mm. About funny. 
Let me tell y'all about this him. Y'all rest in peace to um Eric Mays. Mm-hmm. He was that um explosive councilman over there in Flint. He used to go in there hunting and lay them people out in the council meeting hunt. <laughs> That man, you let them have him. Oh, yes, he did. <laughs> you can do it. Eric Mays. He passed away. My rest in peace and condolences to his family. Um, he used to let them folks have him, honey. Down there to the council meeting, honey. Over there in Flint. Sure did. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. So y'all, once you get the right combination with it, mm -hmm, then it's good. But you got to have the right sauce, you know, that is going to be appeasing to you, you know. The right, um, you know, the right sauce, you got to have the right combination, I'm trying to say. Not everything. Mm-hmm. Got to have it. Ooh, the egg, huh? Ooh. Mm-hmm. 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 <coughs> and thoughts and took me out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, glory. So, y'all, but Eric was over there. We was trying to get things done for the people. He was, he was like, them folks have it. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Eric Mays, he has passed away. Um, so, mm hmm y'all, we send prayers to his family, and your condolences, you know, send some prayers up for the family, and honey, on another note, have y'all been following and seeing this super mayor over there, honey, over there in Dalton, Illinois, Tiffany Henyard. Baby, they say she is over there honey, spending up the folks' mind. The FBI, all kind of government agencies is over there. They say, allegedly, is over there investigating. Mm-hmm. Now, she is a, the mayor in the village of Dalton. And then I guess somewhere a little further down the road, there's another like um I guess corporation or another like little smaller entity that's adjacent to it. And she is like the um community or town supervisor there too. So she got like two jobs together. Right there together. And um they say she'll just still in the folks money, huh? Allegedly. Um, over there, honey, they said, uh, the woman be flying out to uh, Vegas and everything and everything and everything, honey, and, uh, using the taxpayer money to be flying out in first class and this and that and that and this and all kind of stuff and, mm, allegedly, she done started, like, some kind of charity Foundation called Tiffany A. Henry Cares. And they say that with taxpayer money, well, the day that she opened it, um, like the next day or something, the city of that she's the mayor at supposedly uh, donated $10,000 to her charity and everything. And um, I said, them folks are they're tired of her. So the, um, the councilmen and everything, they done voted to uh, investigate her because she won't. Y'all, they said they won't over there locking them out of the town hall. Won't let the folks in their offices and things and stuff. I'm trying to hide all the financial uh, corruption that she got going on. Huh? Get you another bite. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Y'all, I be making little faces. Don't think I'm crazy. I be looking for a thumbnail. 
Mm-hmm. But so like she done spent thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars, y'all, on like billboards and you know signs and her own personal calendars. All about her. She calls herself a super maid. <laughs> And it's all over the internet. In her town meetings, she's just totally disrespectful to um, the councilman and anybody that, you know, either has something to say or, you know, don't go along with what she feels or how she feels things should go and all that, baby. She is a mess, baby. Mm hmm. She is. She is a mess. Yes, she is. She is something serious. Her name is Tiffany A. Henry in Dalton, uh, Illinois. Baby, baby, baby. Mm-hmm. Like the, um, the attorney general, general, or the governor's office, or uh, somebody over there um, has sent her several notices, you know, wanting to know, or basically saying that she did not filed the correct paperwork and that her um, charity, she didn't do something. And they don't know how to spend the money. They won't know about all that and everything. It's a mess, y'all. For real. It's a mess over there. Um, there was something else that she done. Um, oh. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. Some seventy seven a thousand, they like seventy seven thousand, seventy eight thousand dollars behind on um, paying their police vehicles. So they finna come and repos they finna come and repossess the the folks police cars and uh you know like service units, you know, things and stuff. Uh, baby, I have learned, seen heard, you know, uh, and even talked about a whole lot of um, things that have happened in government. But, baby, when they come in to repossess the police cars, <laughs> hey, things are going down. And so, since they've been investigated, I think it's like News Channel 32 or something like, like that, has been over there in the city, a village, whatever you want to say, and she holding up the folks' um like business licenses and stuff and sending the police around and, and shutting down folks' businesses, truck stops and all kind of stuff. And then got a 24 hour, I think it's like four policemen, allegedly, <laughs> like four policemen round the clock, a police detail, y'all. Like she the president of something. <laughs> hey, 24 hour around the clock, police detail. Y'all, I'm telling you, y'all, y'all need if you don't know nothing about it, go over there and everything and, and check it out. Her name is Tiffany Henry, it's in Dalton, uh, Illinois. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Baby, the woman got 24 hour uh, uh, police detail. They say at one point, the police, one of the police officers specifically, um, one pay period every two weeks, the police. Clocked something like 330 hours out of a possible 360. How many hours in 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 a week? 24 hours. It would be 24 hours times 14 days. 24 times 14 is 240. Four times 24 is 80. So that's 300 and uh, 336. three is 336 possible hours. In 14 days. They're right. For, you said 14 yeah. times 24. Yeah. 14 times 24. It's a possible of 300 and... How many? 336. 336 hours in a two-week period. And this man... um, <laughs> This man turned in like 303 <laughs> hours out of two weeks. Over time. Just all kind of stuff going on over there, y'all. Mm-hmm. Now, I think she is like the youngest um, mayor and the first 
female mayor ever in this village. Um, maybe the youngest female mayor ever, or something like that. But it just goes to show you, y'all, how some people, and all oh, this is allegedly now, because I know I was watching last week, well, a couple of days ago or so, um, sometime last week, in last week, where she was, she created some kind of podcast, and she said she was giving away a million dollars to the to the citizens, to the people who needed the money <laughs> over there, y'all. Y'all, it's a lot going on over there now. Go over there. It was quite amusing, huh? There you go. It just goes to show you, though, how people can, you know, I don't know, y'all. Because according to her, and I think the town um, spokesperson or whoever he is, they say everything in line and she ain't doing nothing corrupt and this and that and everything. And uh, people just lying on them, you know, that kind of stuff. But I don't, uh, it shows a whole lot of allegations over there. And when, I'm, when there's smoke, eventually there's going to be fire. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And originally, all they wanted was for her to just step down and go about her business. Mm hmm. But now, they, the township is contacting and trying to get the FBI, the Department of Justice, Homeland Security, anybody on the federal level to come over there and investigate that woman. And y'all, she still be showing out. <laughs> she just do not care. She don't. Mm -mm. Now, one or two things. The, it, the way she reacts or her reactions to all of this. Um, <laughs> all I know what else was. Y'all, this lady... Compare herself to Harriet Tubman, Martin Luther King. One person said Malcolm X, but I didn't hear her say Malcolm X, but I heard her say out her mouth. Harriet Tubman, uh, Martin Luther King, uh, what's the other lady? Buzz Boycott, um, Rosa Parks, Rosa Parks. She said, Is she who? Jesus. Uh, all of it. <laughs> She put herself in the category of the good Lord himself. She said that she was in the category of Rosa Parks, Martin Luther King, you know, in that category. That, that she was um, groundbreaking and she was on our, um, you know, what she was doing <laughs> was propelling the people for future generations into, you know, Baby, y'all need to go over there and see what I'm telling you about now. Tiffany A. Henry. I'm telling you now. Mm-hmm. For real, for real. Mm-hmm. Y'all, it is, I'm telling you, it is delightful to <laughs> just read up on it. You know, because she, obviously she's got to be a smart woman now. You know, she's got to be, you know, abreast of what's going on, well, obviously. Um, she just don't know when to fold. She should have folded. <laughs> she should have folded. She should have. Because it's, so, it's so, so much that they are saying about her now. They're going to find something. You know what I'm saying? Everything is not going to be above board because it's just so many allegations. They're going to find something. They're going to get out of there regardless. You know what I'm saying? But it just, <laughs> that's a lot. Go check it out. Go check it out. Mm-hmm. Go check it out. It's in Dalton, D-O-A-L-T-O-N, Illinois. A lot going on over there, y'all. I pray for her and her family, her children, and everything. And I hope that, you know, I don't wish no bad on nobody. Um, but if she's over there, then y'all... She's taking these expensive trips and she's coming back saying that she has secured grants and, and different stuff for, for the township, 
Like one of them was like six point eight million dollars. But then the folks, the township ain't seen no one. <laughs> they ain't seen nothing on it. Did she say she went and gotten da da da? Y'all, it doesn't have to be politics. It doesn't have to be anything. You know what I mean? I mean, it doesn't have to be anything on that level. But you cannot take other folks' stuff and do what you want to with it. Misuse it, steal it, whatever you want to say, however you're doing it, use it for your own personal use. Because y'all, the one about her a <laughs> I can't make this up. This one went and got uh, the car she drive. Now the police cars and things and stuff being repossessed. But she got a brand new uh well Yukon or uh, extended version Yukon. She went <laughs> with the taxpayers money, honey. <laughs> Y'all, allegedly, allegedly, allegedly now. But I just want y'all to go over there and look at it. I want y'all to go over there and check it out. And don't forget about Eric Mays and his family, uh, y'all, because Eric Mays was over there fighting, but, you know, he he was a whole hoot, honey. Mm-hmm. I can just imagine him. Mm-hmm. Young people getting up, putting on their side to go meet him, honey. They go down there to the council meeting, honey. Knowing good well. They finna have to fight with Eric May. Baby, he was a trip. He was. He really was. Mm-hmm. We playing for um Fanny Willis. Um I look like she may be finna uh face perjury charges from her and Mr. Wade there. What it look like. It's me. At this moment that I'm making this video, the judge ain't sitting there yet. That I seen. Mm -hmm. But I do know that closing arguments was today or tomorrow, something like that. Maybe this morning. I was supposed to be watching it live. I had it sick. I don't know if it's already happened. But it's a lot going on, y'all, in this uh, political world. You know, how we ramp it up. You know, um, to this presidential election and appointments here and appointments there and things and stuff and everything. All oh, that's gonna go on. So, y'all, that's the reason why I was talking about this political stuff because I need to make sure that I remind you all, y'all, plenty of folks in this world, whether it be for women, whether it be for African Americans, whether it be for blacks, um, well, same thing, blacks, African Americans, whatever you wanna say, um, women themselves, people have fought, died, gay their lives, campaigned, done all things in the world. For you to have a vote if you are of legal age and are not a felon and things and stuff. And I think they're trying to give felons their vote back now. I think they are. I've seen something about that somewhere. Where they're trying to say that, you know, felons can start back voting. They're trying to pass something or something another. They're working somewhere in that lane where felons can start back voting. But either way, go. People have, uh, like I said, gave their life and, 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 and done a lot over the years to either, uh, you know, give you your right to vote. And if you don't vote, and listen, and listen complaining and running your mouth about who wins, there's no need. Because if you don't, they're running, you know, it's a possibility they could win. You know what I mean? So if the person that you want to win, don't win, and you didn't vote, don't say that. Because just go out them, everybody's vote counts. Everybody vote count. So go okay, ahead, yours. Okay. The weather's breaking. I not already said it. So now is the perfect time. So that I ain't got to be waiting till April or May to let you know. The weather is breaking. If, if the weather ain't got nice where you are, this the perfect time to get on out there and get started on your exercise for the nice weather for the summer to get them pounds off that you want off. And everything. It's a perfect time now. I've started. I've already got started, y'all. Uh, doing what I can do. You know what I mean? So out of all, it's a perfect time to get started. You know, go ahead and get yourself, your body used to getting out there and, and giving yourself some self-love. You know what I mean? Because that's what it is. That's self-love. Um, and for me, exercise, walking, whatever it is that I can do, is very therapeutic uh, for me. Gives you time to think. Gives you time to be one with God. Gives you time to reflect. You know what I mean? That type of stuff. 
Uh, and like I said, and it's so good for your body, your heart and stuff. Um, statistics or scientifically, they say a 30 minute walk a day, um, three to four times a week, you know, strengthens your heart and um, your heart muscles and stuff. And, you know, just gets everything working better and everything, um, you know, which leads into a, a longer and more healthier life. Anyway, I'm about to hear y'all. Y'all check out this political stuff and everything and everything and, and get yourself ready to vote and all that kind of stuff and everything and everything and everything and everything. I love you guys so, so much. I truly do and I hope you guys have enjoyed. Tom and Newly Jen, thank you guys so, so much for being here. We truly appreciate each and every one because you didn't have to be here. You would have chosen to be anywhere else in the world, but you chose to be right here with us and we love you for it. Mm -hmm. Tom, existently Jen, round and round we go, round and round we go. I love you guys so, so much. Now, I'm going to see you guys next time. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys look, always remember that there's always more than one way home. All you still have to do is get there. So get there, people. Get there. I love y'all. And I'm going to see you guys next time. And if you're not going to watch me next time, you have lied to me. And I know you lied. Period. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. Make sure you get ready, get yourself together so you can vote. Bye bye. I'm not scared.